hello guys this is code encode and this is video editorial for the uh we are not video editorial but video lecture uh, and and in this lecture we are going to study about the minimum number of moves required for a knight to move from uh, one position to another on the chess board so again let's go through the problem statement but before that i've already released a video in which i've talked how uh, what are the things that we are going to cover in this week and this is i guess the first lecture of that video so there are i guess 10 10 or so or uh, something like 10 or 12 lectures that i'll be covering in this week so this is the first lecture for that if you haven't seen that video you can go and watch those uh, that lecture and but before starting this lecture since this uses this approach uses bfs on 2d grid i've already explained how we can apply graph algorithms like bfs or dfs in previous lectures uh, how you can apply bfs or dfs these kinds of uh, graph algorithms on 2d grid i have already explained those in previous lectures so make sure you watch you have already watched those lecture so the problem statement is you are given a chess or basically 2d grid it doesn't matter it, it doesn't need to be a chess it is a 2d grid of size n cross m so there is a knight on position x comma y and there is a target cell a cross uh, a comma b and we have to find the minimum number of steps uh, for the knight to reach the target so before that uh, before discussing the algorithm if you must know the moves of a knight if the knight is at this cell then it can move to any eight position which i meant uh, which i represented using this blue uh, uh, pink color and the x now if a knight is at position uh, at this cell then it can go here or it can go here 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 and so on there are eight different possible moves for a knight from certain at max eight from certain cell x y to it can move to these eight cells now these are the possible one moves for a knight now if you see if the coordinate of the cell in which the knight is is x comma y then this cell would have coordinates x minus 2 comma y plus 1 and i'm not using uh, uh normal 2d x y uh graph this is the 2d array so the row numbers st uh, start from here and it goes from 0 to 0 1 2 and so on increasingly from top to bottom and similarly for for uh y coordinate is go it goes from left to right increasing from zero so this cell is zero zero as you all remember this is simply two degree this is not a graph a normal graph where x coordinate is this and y coordinate is this and so on this is not like that this this is the x coordinate or basically the row number and this is the y coordinate basically the column number so if if there is a knight in position x y which is this cell then this cell would have coordinates x minus two comma y plus one you can see in the row we are decree uh, we are going up by two so row number would decrease by two and in the column we are incre increasing we are going one towards right so column number would increase by one so this cell would be x minus two y plus one similarly the rest i have already shown so you can confirm it if there is some mistake just mention it in the comment section so these are the possible moves that a knight can have now if you remember to apply bfs or dfs on 2d grid we declared two direction arrays change in x and changing y that is why we have dx and dy so in bfs or dfs uh, there are two different ways from one cell you can move to another one way is you can move from one cell to another if they share a common side so there are four possible ways up down left or right another way is you can move to all of those cells which either share a side or a corner so in that case you have a different cell you can move from a current cell so you can go here 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 also you can go here 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 and here so this is for normal bfs and dfs for that we create two two different direction arrays for this the direction array changes a little bit and the direction array looks like this i'm starting from here and going clockwise direction so this cell from here to here if you move from this cell to this cell uh, you are making a change in x by minus 2 and making a change in y by plus 1 so that is why minus 2 plus 1 
so for this cell we have created for uh, we have made an entry in our direction array for this cell change would be minus 1 plus 2 so minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 so plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 and so on so this is how your direction array in this case would look like uh, when you are applying dfs or bfs on 2d grid it all uh, defining the direction array is most important if you mess up with this you mess up with, uh, you mess up with, with algorithm so make sure make sure that you define a uh, direction array properly after that so how we are going to apply bfs uh, of course since we want to find the minimum number of steps from one position to another so that is why we will be using bfs when you want to count the minimum number of steps you want to count the minimum number of distance and so on where where each operation cost equally so if you move from here to here it cost one operation you can move from here to here it cost one operation in some cases like uh, when you have a graph and the edges are this time weighted so edges going from one cell to another may cause different from going from different to different cells but when the edges are not weighted so moving from uh, cell 1 to 2 would cost one unit Move, moving from 2 to some other node would also cost one unit so in those cases bfs is applicable bfs is applicable in only those situation in which each operation costs equally if the graph is weighted then each co each operation each move may cost differently depending upon the weight uh, edge weight right so that is why when the graph is weight uh, weighted we cannot apply singles or shortest path using bfs but we have to go for dijkstra similarly here we can apply bfs because each or uh, each, each operation is going to cost us only one move that is why we can apply here so now we are going to apply bfs and how bfs works of course we have a uh, this is the original array the input array you can call it this is distance array it will keep uh, it would keep track of all of the nodes that we have discovered and their distances so this is the source node this is where the night is and this is the target cell so we have to count the minimum number of steps uh, using which we can reach uh, the night can reach from this cell to this cell and you can see the answer is two because uh, first of all you can't reach this node in this cell in one move of course so it would be more than one so you can reach there in two steps you just go here and then from here you can go here so answer is two now we need to find the minimum number of steps that is why we are going to apply bfs and to apply bfs we need some arrays like distance array to keep track of distance of each cell from the source cell and since source itself is at distance zero that is why i have already the cell 2 2 is at distance zero from the uh, source cell because this is the source cell this is from where we have to start this is the uh, this is the cell where night is so now how bfs progresses if you remember you have a source cell you insert it into the queue initialize the distance to be zero mark it as visited this gray color represents visited after that algorithm starts remember uh, so what you do when algorithm starts you take out the front element so current element is 2 2 and you remove it from the queue we have removed it from the queue now all of the node which can be traversed from here would have distance one greater than the distance of current node so distance of current node is zero so all of the node which are visible oh sorry all of the cells which are uh, which you can visit from this node this cell will have distance one so from this cell there are a four cells you can visit this this uh, sorry this and this so these four cells you can visit uh, you can go to from the current position in one move so you can either go here or here or here or here so there are four cells which are reachable from current node in one move so all of these will be inserted in the queue and of course all of these are at distance one from the source because this itself is at distance zero from source and you can reach any of these cell in one move so uh, distance of this plus one would be the distance of these four nodes so these four nodes uh, these four cells can be reached from source which is this in one unit uh, one unit time or one unit move after that everything is done for this current node so all of the node will be marked as visited as well 
now the algorithm proceeds again again what we do we take out the current uh, we take out the front element from the queue so we have take uh, we have taken the front element from the queue and removed it from the queue as well after that this is one four one four means this node or uh, this cell so from this cell what are the moves you can make in one step from this cell you can go to either here or here or here you can't reach here because this is already visited so that is why we can't make this move you can't go from here to here again so that is why only these three cells are uh, reachable in one move from this source node which is one four so all of these four cells will be inserting into the queue and also the distances of these four, uh, three cells would be two because their source is at distance one from source node which is this so this cell is at distance one and now since these cells are reachable in one move from this so whatever distance this is having plus one would be the distance of these three nodes so this is having one distance so all these three nodes will have distance two after that the work of this is completed so we will take the next front element from the queue which is uh, yeah we will also mark them as visited and that is represented by gray color now the node uh, then we will take the next from the queue which is 3 4 and also we will be removing it from the queue this is the standard BFS prof, uh, procedure if you see we are following the standard BFS procedure if you haven't seen the algorithms uh, the lectures on BFS I highly recommend you to watch those lectures first then come here uh, so that you can have a better understanding of what going what is going on now the current element is 3 4 3 4 means this cell we have uh, covered this and now it's time for this from here what are the cells you can visit in one move these are the cells you can visit in one move you can go here you can go here you can go here you can't go here because it is already visited so we won't consider this otherwise there will be an infinite loop this will be adding this into the queue this will be adding this into the queue and the queue will not be empty at any moment and we all know that bfs stops as soon as the queue is empty but if you keep adding those elements which are already visited so the queue will never be empty and you will get or most likely you will get a stack overflow error or at least infinite loop so these are the cells we can move to from this cell right but wait in those cells there is also a target cell as soon as you find the target cell the uh, the coordinates of target cell you will always already be having uh, it is i guess one five one five so from here one five is all uh, already uh, reachable that means you have found the minimum distance or minimum moves to reach here and that would be distance of this plus one distance uh, distance of this uh, cell is i guess one yeah distance of this cell is one so distance of this would be two because of uh, the current cell plus one because from here it would require one move to go here that is why the distance of this would be two and we would directly return from here we, we would not continue because we we are not here to count the total number of or minimum distance of each node from here each cell from here we were only interested in finding the minimum distance from a uh, root or the starting position of the night to the terminal position or the target position and we have found it so we will simply return from here the distance to distance of current node plus one which would be two so as you can see using bfs we are able to calculate the minimum distance or min minimum number of moves using which a knight uh, will be able to reach its target position and that would be two in this case so this is how this algorithm works and in the next lecture i'll be explaining the implementation of this algorithm implementation i'm not going to show in this lecture because this is already i guess too long in this in the next lecture i'm going to take a problem from uh, code chef and then we'll be solving that problem so you can also see the implementation in work so the uh, if you look at the time complexity it would be the same as the bfs on 2d grid which is n cross m so this was all for this lecture thank you guys for watching and if you have any doubt or query of course you can ask in the comment section or on the article that i've created for uh, created for this course so i'll be putting the link of that article uh, uh, in the description of this video so thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you